You know, the Cheltenham Gold Cup is next in the big race of the meeting. Three mile, two and a half furlong. Grade one, of course, at the top. Arctic Watch, Ronix Cherry, Chintzy Aerodynamic, former Vinnie Gerard, Clubber Dinge, Padrang Hogan, his mother's parents, Stu Gray, One Trap Mind, Leon Van Rensburg, Philly Eagle, and Royal Wedding for Matt Cooper, Saltzello Manor, Darren Thompson, The Devastator, Joshua Sutherland, Tower Amlets, Graham Clutterbuck, Velvet Sky, Craig Beckwith, Alexandra Cornwall, Padraig Hogan, Dragons Cry, Leon Van Rensburg, Finding Alice, Martin Needham, Habley, Darren Thompson, Lavar, Palariva, David Robertson, Mallorca Dream, David Hooley, Nightclubber, Craig Beckwith, Place the Duchess for Alex Cherry, Popwell, David Hooley, Rebecca Sledmere, David Robertson, and The Shepherd for Joshua Sutherland. So 22 of them then. I think it's fair to say we haven't really got a standout favourite this year either. They're away and racing. And heading towards the first in the Cheltenham Gold Cup. And Dragon's Cry is the first to show the Joshua Sutherland pair also up there early. So the big guns are to the fore as they get to the first of the 22. And they all sailed over that one okay then with the Devastator and Dragon's Cry disputing the Gold Cup field lead as they head down towards this fence. It'll be the last in two circuits time. They all get over that one nicely as well with Chintzy Aerodynamic, just the back marker. So the Devastator on the outside of Dragon's Cry seem to be setting a fairly decent pace. The Shepherd is six lengths back in third. Then his mother's parents on the inside is fourth. Then Arctic Watch and Philly Eagle with Lever Palariva after that one. Looking to the back, Chintzy Aerodynamic and Pop World are the back two. One or two of them caught quite wide on that turn. As they race away from the stand, two complete circuits of the Cheltenham track to go as they take this plain one. And over that they go, and they're all safe near it, although there was a mistake at the back by Mallorca Dream as they head towards the water. Dragon's Cry and the Devastator are six lengths clear of the Shepherd, who's well clear of the fourth placed horse, Lever Pelleriva. As we're seeing them from some distance away. Get into the fifth. All safely over the fifth. The Devastator and Dragon's Cry in the lead as they get to the next. All safely over that. This is like 1970s TV. And they only used to have one camera and it was miles away from you. When they were racing down the back straight, you could barely see anything. You look it up on YouTube, it's amazing when you look at the coverage we get now. Um, Sort of far away we used to have to watch it from and then get over this next one and they're all safely over that one with dragons cry in the lead the devastator is in second and the shepherd is in third and club of dinge fourth salt salamanor is next as they all stream over the next one and the pace does seem quite hot there well strung out for a gold cup field and dragons cry and the devastator on the two top stables are disputing the lead from the Shepherd back in third. Club of Dinge is fourth. Saltzella Manor is next. Of course, they could be setting it up for one of those great closer horses. Night Clubber of Craig Beckwith is right out the back at the moment. That one always comes with a rattle at the end. I know one or two people fancy that one today. Dragons cries the leader there now. It's opened up by two lengths to the Devastator in second. And the Shepherd and Club of Dinge as they all get over the next. Dragon's Cry in front. From the Devastator in second, gap back to the Shepherd. Then Clubber Dinge, Saltzella Manor is after that, then Alexandra Cornwall and Philly Eagle. With Lavea, Palariva and Habley after that. Then Finding Alice, who was second in this two seasons ago. They get to the 11th. And uh, also in second made a bit of a mistake there, the Devastator. They're all still on their feet at the moment as they come up past the stand and take the fence. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And Dragon's Cry is now really beginning to turn the screw in the lead. Opening up to a four length lead from the Devastator in second. The Shepherd is in third. Then Club of is in four. And then South Salamanor is five. And Alexandra Cornwall is six. For the Eagle is seven. And Lover Pelle River is eight. Avalie is nine. And Fine Nine is ten. Tower Amlet is eleven. And then plays the Dutch's and Arctic Watch. And then Pop World and Velvet Sky. Rebecca Sledmere and One Trap Mind. Royal Wedding. Mallorca Dream. His mother's parents. Shinchi Dynamic. And finally Night Club Roo, Still the back marker with a circuit to go. Dragons cry into this plain one. Then with a lead of two. Gets over it nicely from the Devastator. Over it in second, rest of them all over it okay. Clubber Dinge is fourth, South Salamanor is in fifth. Alexandra Cornwall and Philly Eagle after that one as they come to the water for the final time. And Dragons Cry and the Devastator. 
Oh, disputing the lead again now, being joined by the Shepherd. It's a three way tie nearly up the top now. There's a group of three disputing the lead. Club of Dinges next as they come into this ditch. And they all attack that ditch and get over it well. With Dragon's Cry in the lead. The Devastator second. The Shepherd third as they get to the 16th. Mistake there by Seltzano Manor. I've seen that one shuffle down the pack a little bit, but Dragon's Cry is in front. Regained a two length lead from the Joshua Sutherland pair, the Shepherd and the Devastator. Coming into this ditch. Over the ditch they go. And they're all over that one as well with his mother's parents. Now the back marker. And Dragon's Cry leads the Gold Cup field into the 18th. Gets over it nicely, gets away from it well. Racing downhill now. And Dragon's Cry's in front. These two tricky downhill fences coming next and they get over this next one and over that one they go and they're all safely over that one as well with Dragon's Cry in the lead. The Shepherd is in second, the Devastator is third. Now Lavert Palariva comes through with the run. Here comes One Trap Mind getting a first mention. Clubber Dinge and Alexandra Cornwall next out to them and all trying to run on over the third last they go and suddenly now Lavert Palariva is coming through to challenge for the lead. Dragon's Cry hanging on. Lavert Palariva is in second. Then the Shepherd One Trap Mind. Clubber Dinge is after that. Then Alexandra Cornwall the Devastator looks beaten. Pop World is running on. So too is Seltzer Manor. Also coming now is a nightclub. A nightclub is starting to unleash a run around the outside as they race towards the final two. It's Dragons Cry in the lead in the Gold Cup field then. From the Shepherd in second. Clubber Dingy's third. Then Pop World and Seltzer Manor. Over the second last they go. Over that one. They're all safely over it again. With Dragons Cry continuing to lead. Been in the lead all the way. Being chased hard. Now then by the Shepherd. They get over that one. It's Dragon's Cry in the lead. They've only got one more to take now. It's Dragon's Cry in the Shepherd. Dragon's Cry's in the lead. The Shepherd is beginning to close. It's Dragon's Cry in the Shepherd as they race now up towards the line. It's got to be the Shepherd who's beginning to get up. The Shepherd's in the lead. Dragon's Cry is in second and it's got to be the Shepherd who's got to win the Gold Cup. A brilliant win for Joshua Zoran. John the Shepherd takes it. Dragon's Cry was second. Not the was third. Then Seltz and Manor and Club of Dinge after that one. And all the way back to Tower Hamlets. And the Shepherd takes the gold cup for Joshua Sutherland. Cap a really good week for him. Dragons cry second for Leon van Rensburg. Nightclub for Craig Beckwith was third. South Salem and Order and Thompson fourth. And Clubber Dinge for Padraig Hogan was fifth. <laughs>